This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. With Orwellian censorship on the rise, there's never been a better time to use a VPN. Their suggestions that our credit scores might be based on our internet history in the near future. The same way that banks use data like income to judge credit eligibility now is how websites could use internet search history in the near future. I will not let my internet history be the judge of my credit score. That's why I use Virtual Shield. Just go to the link in the description and pin comment and get Virtual Shield for 50% off today. I am Union City Mayor Carol Dutra-Bernacci. I am here with our Human Relations Commission Chair, Kashmir Singh Shahi. White Lives Matter banner was discovered in Union City. This is despicable and we removed it immediately. Kashmir, your thoughts, please. This made me upset and I hope this is an isolated incident as it does not reflect the community of my city, city of Union City. I urge my community to stick together and don't let anything happen which will put a stain on our society and which is not at par with the standard of this great country, the United States of America. City is an inclusive city. This weekend, we are honoring Martin Luther King Jr. His life was taken as he fought for inclusiveness. I have lived in Union City my entire life, and we have always welcomed everybody from everywhere. And we will continue to do so. We will continue to be united as we celebrate our diversity. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd do my video outside today just because it kind of feels like this is where we are right now on the right or generally anybody who opposes the left or the Democrats or is a critic of their media. This is where we are now. We're out basically in the woods, cold and alone. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to do a quick video today about this article that I just read on Fox News, and it was actually a couple days ago, and I'm just now getting around to it. So in this California city, and I have no doubt this would happen anywhere in America right now, uh, but in the city, uh, Union City, uh, somebody put up a White Lives Matter banner, okay? And it just says, White Lives Matter, that's it. And there's some kind of things about it that make me think it was put up by somebody else, not like a right winger, just the style of it just doesn't really look like something you would see from a right winger, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm generalizing. But there's this White Lives Matter banner put up and of course the city reacts completely ridiculously with the mayor coming out saying that, oh my God, I'm so offended by this, it's so disgusting, it's this hateful act that we have in our city and we won't stand for this sort of hate. Uh, and it's just, it's kind of mind boggling because it's just a sign that says white lives matter, right? And uh, just like black lives matter, I find both uh, statements to be pretty harmless. I mean, there's nothing harmless about them and they are obvious. We all agree, all, you know, normal human beings agree outside of, you know, psychopaths. Another point that I have here is they'll say that you can't say white lives matter because that's the default position, that white lives already matter, so there's no need to say it. Maybe there was a time when that was true, but I don't see that that's the case anymore. Anyway, I mean, for example, nobody really knows any of the names of white people who were shot by police, unarmed white people. The simple fact is that the mainstream media never makes those national stories. You may read about it if you search for it on the internet, you'll find you know, an internet news story about it, but that's pretty much it. A good example of this is just before uh, George Floyd, there was a white guy, I think his name was Tim something, and I can't even, see, I can't remember his name, but he was killed in a very similar way to George Floyd, pretty much the exact same way, I think. And that was never a news story. That was never used by the national media to sort of gin up rage and, and anger. And the media pretty much exclusively reports on black Americans who are shot and killed by police or just shot by police. And it's like the details never matter on that either. It doesn't matter uh, if it was a black American who was shot by police who had a weapon or you know, tried to run a cop over, or tried to run other people over, or fought the police and then pulled a weapon. It, none, of that, none of that matters. Or if it truly was just an innocent person who was murdered by a police officer. Or it was an innocent person murdered by a police officer for the color of their skin. And I think that last criteria there is exceptionally rare. Like, it doesn't actually happen a whole lot. And that's one of the reasons the media has to specifically and 
pretty much exclusively report on only black people were shot. And then, and even then they just kind of gloss over the detail. The guy in Kenosha, Jacob Blake, the media basically incited riots for that. Hey, guess what? It turned out he did have a weapon and he did fight the police. He had a knife, which everybody knew anyway, because if you looked at the video and you zoomed in, you could see the knife, but the media just sort of glossed over that. I would ask anybody who has a problem with the white lives matter sign, go ahead and, and name for me an unarmed white person who was shot by police. Go ahead and name one. They won't be able to do it, but I guarantee you they can list several names of black Americans who were shot by cops, whether it was uh, justified shooting or not. I would just pose the question, is there a need for a White Lives Matter movement? Because it kind of seems like they don't. So the mayor comes out with this video. They put out this statement. Uh, and let me just show that to you real quick before we continue. A White Lives Matter banner was discovered in Union City. This is despicable and we removed it immediately. Kashmir, your thoughts, please. This made me upset and I hope this is an isolated incident as it does not reflect the community of my city, city of Union City. <laughs> what in the hell? Like they're saying that they don't want this in their city. What is it that they don't want in their city? What is it that they're so offended by here? And why is that question not asked? You know, it's just an obvious question. It says white lives matter. That's all it says. And, and it's just like when people put up the signs that say it's okay to be white. Obviously, people put up those signs because you have incidents like this where they're saying something like an innocuous phrase like white lives matter is a hateful slogan or that it's dangerous and it's something that's disgusting. That seems kind of odd, especially considering that, you know, the Black Lives Matter slogan is out there. And, you know, I, I, nobody has a problem with the slogan. It's the organization that they have a problem with. And that's exactly what I find interesting about this. So if you ask these people to have a problem with a slogan like that, with a statement that nobody can disagree with, right? I mean, brown lives matter, yes. Black lives matter, yes. White lives matter, everybody, all lives matter. But they would respond to you and say that the problem with it is that it's a far right slogan, that it's been adopted by white nationalists. And even in this Fox News article, they point to the leader of Proud Boys, who isn't a white guy. The point is that when he went and he burned a Black Lives Matter sign, that was a hate crime. So would it be a hate crime to burn a White Lives Matter sign? I don't think so. And that's, that's the hypocrisy in all this. They rationalize that by saying that it's a, a slogan that's been adopted by white nationalists, okay? That's kind of insane because white nationalists breathe air too, but nobody has a problem with that. That's kind of uh, some warped logic to use, especially when Black Lives Matter, the, the problem that most people have with it is the organization. It's the far left Marxist, uh, organization that has among its goals the uh, disintegration of the Western prescribed nuclear family. Like what does that have to do with police violence or so-called systemic racism or any of that? So that's what we have a problem with. We have a problem with the communism that <laughs> that is, you know, that's using, you know, Black Lives Matter, the slogan as a sort of Trojan horse, okay? That's exactly what they're saying, that they have a problem with White Lives Matter science. So once again, you know, it's these double standards where they have completely separate standards for one side than they hold for themselves. I don't know, folks, I just find this very dangerous because like this mayor was saying in that uh, Zoom meeting, that th it's something they don't want in their society or in their city. So I just worry over time what this is going to do to our to our culture. Are we creating a culture where... I mean, you lit like white lives literally don't matter. And I, you know, I'm not a person, I'm not a racial person. This is for you, Susan. Uh, I want all of us Americans to all benefit, you know, no matter what skin color you are, I want us all to get along. I want all of that. But I don't see how you can do that when you're literally out there saying that to say white lives matter is, is hate speech and is disgusting while saying that anybody else's lives matter, that's totally okay. And they have Believe me, they have plenty of justifications and rationalizations for this, but it's wrong. It's clearly wrong. I'm really disgusted by this Fox News article and any any journalist who would uh, report this story and just not ask the obvious question, like what's the problem with this slogan? What's the problem with saying it's okay to be white? And, and their answer every time is that white nationalists say, and, and, and increasingly this is the excuse they're using to censor all of their political opposition by just painting us all as you know extremists. 
All they need to do that, all you need for that is to be white and to oppose the Democrats. And then suddenly you are the most horrible monster that they can describe. And that's what's dangerous about all this because it's my message since I started this channel has been that the Democrats and their media are dangerous because they seem capable of rationalizing anything, always upping the ante. And I could see over time that they're just trying to excuse, trying to find rationalizations and excuse ways of shutting up their opposition. And this is just another way. This is just another way. And it's even more insidious because it's got this racial aspect. And we cannot have a united country in this kind of environment. It just cannot happen.